Расскажите, пожалуйста, об энергии сердечной чакры и о том, как ее можно использовать. But I am uh, not completely что, sure if it is okay to use in some sort of magical oh, practice. Хорош, uh, коллега, I have not observed any destructive consequences from it. I observe that natural objects can be corrected with its use. Oh, great question, colleague. Let's talk about it. This directly relates to individual specializations in magical practice. In order to answer your question exactly and appropriately, let's first remember what Anahata Chakra is and what body it is responsible for. I will ask my colleagues to display the image of the human subtle body structure. I believe that you all are well familiar with it, but let's refresh it in our memory nonetheless. Man has seven subtle bodies, beginning with the most coarse physical body, the most dense of them, so to say. The rest are way more subtle, and they become more and more subtle with every layer. Anahata, in particular, as you see, is connected with the mental body. What is the mental body? It is a realm of consciousness that is responsible for memory, for words, for information, for communication. If your Anahata works well, this means that your mental body is active, more active than any other body, and this means the magic of the word, magic of convincing, verbal magic, magic that has to do with a verbal vibrational sequence, or the sequence of the sound, or just informational currents, or simple incantation, or even smooth talking of others, as well as psychology. All of that is the magic of the word. All of that is the mental body. This means that this particular magic reveals itself within you to a greater degree, and if you are internally drawn to this development, to the development and the alteration of surrounding reality, precisely through the power of the word, through anahata, through verbalization of certain internal forces, then you have identified your magic. Mental body and the Anahata Chakra are very distantly connected to the magic of love, colleagues. Here, unfortunately, we find that an error has crept into our theories. This information came from the East, namely that the Anahata, the heart chakra, is connected to feelings and emotions. Absolutely not. Feeling and emotions belong to our Manipura chakra, meaning the astral body. But the mental body and the Anahata chakra represent love as a means to establish communicative relationships, and that is not really love. Communication doesn't necessarily have to be established on the power of love. It can be based on the power of persuasion, on the power of respect, on the power of knowledge, meaning there are many different currents that can run along those channels. But the fact that informational currents of the mental realm are very powerful and can establish any communicative frameworks, that is true indeed. But is it that we call love? Hardly. Not always. It is not always so. When people interact with one another, it doesn't mean that they exchange that they adequately exchange informational impulses, that these impulses get entirely absorbed by another consciousness, the one that you are trying to pass it on to. And the power of love lies precisely in that, accepting everything and entirely. Information doesn't need to be absorbed in all entirety, it needs to be absorbed correctly. And so, if even a small part of that broadcasted information gets absorbed, and if that small part brings about necessary transformation in the consciousness of someone who received that information, you can count that your life was not wasted, at least for that period of time when you studied that information or passed it along. Our meeting here, similarly, many words will be said here, but even if just a portion of this information allows you to change your life, change a world view, thereby bringing you closer to acquiring your freedom, then this would mean that we surely haven't wasted this time together.